Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative condition. Loss of pigmented midbrain neurons in the substantia nigra pars compacta leads to many motor symptoms of Parkinson's, such as rigidity and bradykinesia. These symptoms have also been linked to an excessive amount of brain activity in the beta frequency band across the motor cortex and subthalamic nucleus. This beta activity normally decreases before and during voluntary movement and increases again when staying still. Research suggests that vibratory signals transmitted from the skin and muscle to the brain may be able to modulate cortical activity, reducing the amplitude of beta activity. This puts the body in a ready-to-move state and reduces stiffness and rigidity. Vibration was first suggested to improve Parkinson's symptoms back in the 19th century by the renowned neurologist Dr. Jean-Martin Charcot, who noted that patient symptoms were less severe after arriving by railroad or carriage. Over the years, we have refined our understanding of this finding. Recent studies have found that localized stimulation placed on a peripheral part of the body can be effective and more practical than full body vibration. Through extensive testing, Charcot Neurotech found that the sternum may be the optimal position for effectiveness and ease of use. Charcot's Q1 is a non-invasive device which uses localized vibration termed focus vibrotactile stimulation. Here we will describe the best current understanding of how the Q1 works. High frequency vibration can be detected by mechanoreceptors such as muscle spindles in the tissue surrounding the sternum. They have been shown to send sensory neuronal signals through one alpha nerve fibers to the brain. These signals encode for physical touch and proprioceptive information, which are important for motor and balance control by the brain. The Q1 also uses a validated therapy for Parkinson's called cueing. Medical professionals commonly advise using cueing to help people with Parkinson's with their motor symptoms. Cueing can be delivered in many ways, such as rhythmic auditory cueing, which can be achieved using a metronome. Visual stimuli have also been explored in the experimental setting, and many professionals recommend cognitive cueing, such as counting in one's head, to help with movement. The Q1 uses rhythmic pulses of vibration to provide cues, which are discrete and less distracting to people as they go about their day-to-day -day activities. Cues like this provide a stimulus that can help people with Parkinson's initiate and sustain regular cycles of bodily movements that are implicitly learned, like walking. In order for movements like walking to be initiated, inhibition of neuronal activity in the supplementary motor area of the brain is required. This is controlled by structures of the basal ganglia, each possessing an internal rhythm. In Parkinson's, as the neurons in the basal ganglia are damaged, the internal rhythmic activity is disrupted, and hence the control of movement deteriorates. This is a possible cause of other characteristic features of Parkinson's, like freezing of gait. Tactile cues delivered by the Q1 may help relieve symptoms by modulating the disrupted basal ganglia SMA circuit, potentially bypassing the circuit itself, allowing reinitiation of learned movements and avoidance of freezing. While both focus stimulation and cueing have been studied extensively in the literature, the Q1 is the first widely available device to combine and deliver them in a practical and patient-centered manner. With this combination, the Q1 may help to relieve the key movement symptoms experienced by people with Parkinson's. To learn more, please visit our website www.sharkoneurotech.com. This animation has been reviewed by Dr. Alistair Noyce, Professor James Kilner, and Professor Kumil Kwon.